What's going on guys? Gonna be giving my quick thoughts on The Crow. I feel this is easily one of the most underrated comic book movies of all time. Nobody really ever talks about this movie. I mean, people bring it up. I seem to say that a lot about certain movies that they oh, they don't get brought up, but I feel that they do because, you know, with the, with the MCU and the DC movies coming out, there's a lot of movies that are a little bit older that have been buried maybe because they're not necessarily people's cup of tea because movies are made a little bit different now. The MCU is very colorful and, and pretty friendly towards everybody obviously endgame you know there's certain exceptions but for the most part there's just so many movies that cater towards slightly different audiences that movies like the old school batman with michael keaton of course that's still loved but that's more of a darker tone movie and the crow is also one of those very this is a very very dark movie as far as the actual story and the revenge tale of it a man being brought back by a supernatural crow named eric draven to exact revenge for his soon-to-be wife being murdered and raped in front of him and him also being killed by thrown out of a window. It is incredibly dark, but I feel like this movie handles everything perfectly. And again, it's a far cry from anything that's happening now with the MCU. And obviously, Joker is probably a movie that I would compare as far as, you know, honestly, I think Joker is probably darker as far as like an actual character. That's a pure character study, though. There's so many great side characters in The Crow that Brandon Lee's performance, it being easily the best and him carrying this movie without him, nothing else works in my opinion. But every character in this movie is great. Every single one of them is amazing. And there's a lot of different side characters that get a good amount of screen time in an hour and 50 minutes. It's pretty incredible how they balanced this many characters and gave them their own, I'm going to say it again, but gave them character, you know, gave them a reason to be there. And it felt like everybody again, had a reason for being there and was just themselves, you know, was a person that felt like they were their own person. It wasn't just a cliche of somebody that we've seen a million times. It took me a minute to get through that, my bad. But uh, the other thing about this movie, the villains, again, the, every character in this movie, I feel like is acted well. I can't find a bad scene in this movie. It's perfectly paced. The villains, if anything, are not built up really. They're kind of just bad guys for being bad guys, but you can easily get past it. And I really never thought about it until I watched it for the sixth or seventh time and finally you know now I'm taking notes of movies as I watch them so that was one of the notes I, I wrote down was maybe not a lot of build up to the villains but it's not a big deal because again the performances are so good his powers in this movie are not necessarily explained outright but they are shown visually and I feel like by the end of the movie you definitely have an idea of how his powers work and you don't really need them completely explained so that's not really a flaw it's just a tiny nitpick the fact that you don't necessarily know how his powers work as they show you throughout the movie, but by the end, you have a general idea of how they work. Other than the amazing performances from top to bottom, uh, I really think that the CGI in this movie was pretty damn good for the time. Also, there was some very big technical feats with recreating Brandon Lee's face on somebody else's body for the beginning of this movie for scenes that he didn't actually shoot. So I have a lot of respect for them, you know, being able to do that at that time. The music in this movie is also perfect. It fits the tone of the of the movie perfectly, and it's it's honestly just perfect music for the movie itself. I mean, it's it's awesome. It's a lot of The Cure, I believe, and uh, there's a couple other bands I don't know the names of, but I know The Cure because my dad was a big fan. I really have nothing negative to say about this movie. You know, outside of the amazing performances and everything else, there's so many memorable scenes and quotable lines. Is that gasoline I smell? I thought I'd use your front door. Mr. Gideon, you're not paying attention. I could go all day. There's so many quotable lines in this movie that me and my dad say to each other way too much, and it probably stems from the fact that we've watched this movie eight times. But at the end of the day, man, this is a movie with so many amazing scenes and so many great performances that I really have nothing negative to say about this movie. It is a perfect paced movie, or perfectly paced movie. The direction is great, it's sound, it's very, very good in my opinion. I think the, the director's name is Alex Proyas. I'm not familiar with any of his other work. Maybe I've watched movies that he's done, and I just didn't know it, but I feel he did a very good job. Other than that, this movie is just a 100% recommend. If you have not seen it, 100% check this movie out. It might not be your cup of tea, but I definitely at least recommend checking this movie out once just to give it a try. And who knows, maybe you really, really love it like I did. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to look out for the next one. And as always, I'm out. Peace.